Good morning, ESM. Today is February 11th, and it is a Thursday. In case you didn't know already, it's second block, day four. And today we're going to be doing some Black History Month trivia. Now we'll do that after news with Josh. Yesterday, the impeachment trial for former President Donald Trump continues as prosecutors a never-seen-before Capitol security footage and radio. Communications from the insurrection January 6th, they argued that Trump became the insider-in-chief referencing his, his, his tweet. False claims of election fraud, telling the supporters to stop the steal and fight like hell. The impeachment managers also raised the role of racism in the riot, invoking the role played with rioters who are linked with um, supremacist groups. Prosecutors also referenced the article published by BuzzFeed that anonymously quoted several defenders of the Capitol, one man having said he called the racist slurs 15 times the day as he sat next to his distraught colleague. The prosecutor's oral arguments will continue today. This week, the CDC is set to release new guidelines for kids to get back to school. During the current pandemic, the Biden administration is currently pushing to have schools reopen, which is something that many Americans feel will be a, a big step toward the return to a normal life. An official from the CDC started that the main goals and guidelines would include hand washing, masking, social distancing, cleaning and ventilation, contractation and isolation, and quarantine. They are also calling the vac vaccination of staff and potentially students as not required, but instead another layer of protection. One of the biggest goals on the guidelines will most likely be screening, which can be great, great improvement the prevention of the spread. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A Live at 25 classes will be offered for Cohort A on March 2nd and Cohort B on March 4th. The classes will be held in the library from 4 to 8. Remember, you must take the class to receive a parking pass. If you received a temporary pass, you must sign up for the class or you will lose your parking pass. Please sign up in the main office with Ms. Scarlatta. The ESM football season begins March 8, 2021. Anyone interested in participating in either JV or varsity football is welcome to sign up and play. Please see Coach Eschbacher located in B23 or Coach Twitchell in E06. Attention seniors, sign up for the bottle and can drive this Saturday, February 13th from 10 to 2. Choose a time slot on the Sign Up Genius page found on our Instagram. Pick up gloves from Ms. Kiwanis and Ms. Mitiga. This can count for some of your this can count for some of your senior community service hours, so don't delay. Sign up today. Any ninth or tenth graders interested in trying out for JV baseball, please talk to Mr. Glusky in D9 or email him at gglusky at esmschools.org. If you have not already done so. Even if you did not play last year, you are welcome to try out this year. So for our Black History Month um, trivia, we're going to ask you a couple questions. So first question, this famous author wrote the line, what happens to a dream deferred? Um, so was it A, Maya Angelou, who was an American poet, memorist, and civil rights activist who received over 50 honorary degrees? Uh, B, Langston Hughes, who is a famous writer who published through the 1920s through the 1960s. He is best known for his insightful portrays of black life in America. Was it C, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who was an American Baptist minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968? Or was it Alex Haley, who is known to be a famous writer that is best known for his book, Roots, a story that follows the life of an Amer African-American family. It was adapted to a TV mi miniseries in 1977 and aired to a jaw-dropping audience of 130 million people. I'm gonna go with Langston Hughes. I was gonna say, I do actually know that quote and it is Langston Hughes. Right. Oh, there he is. Look at that. All right, now for the next question. What scientist developed ways to s 
soils depleted by repeated plantings? Was it A, George Washington Carver, who was an American scientist and inventor in the 20th century? Katherine Johnson, who according to NASA, Katherine Johnson loved math early in her career. She was uh, called a computer. <laughs> she helped NASA put an astronaut into orbit around Earth, and then she helped put a man on the moon. Was it C, Sophia Packard, who's known as an American educator, who is a leader in African-American women education in the 20th century? She co-founded a school for African-American women that would eventually become Spelman College. Or was it Claudette Colvin? Uh, Claudette Colvin is a pioneer of the 1950s civil rights movement and retired nurse aide. On March 2nd, 1955, she was arrested at the age of 15 in Montgomery, Alabama for refusing to give up her seat to a white woman on a crowded, segregated bus. So I actually don't know this one, but I do know that um, George Washington Carver did something with peanuts, so that's gonna be my guess. All right, I was gonna say him as well. All right, and let's see the answer. George Washington Carver, wow. look at that. Wow. Two for two. All right, and we'll get more on that after weather and sports. Today we'll have some scattered snow showers with a high of 24. Friday we'll have a little sun and Saturday will be mostly cloudy with highs in the upper teens. Sunday expect morning snow showers with a high of 22. Monday we'll have a high of 21 with mostly cloudy skies and some snow. Tuesday and Wednesday both have expected snow showers with highs in the mid 20s. I'm Gabby with the weather. Another uh, quick little question. The famous athlete who claimed he threw his Olympic medal in the Ohio River because he refused service at a white on, whites only dinner. Uh, I've, I've heard this before. I think, I wanna say it's B, Earl Floyd. Earl Lloyd, actually. I, I have not heard this, but I know Jackie Robinson was like a baseball player, um, so he probably didn't go to the Olympics. Um, so I'm gonna go Ernie Davis. Wow, there's Muhammad Ali. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. So Jackie Robinson, as most of you know, was an American professional baseball player um, who became the first African-American to play in the major baseball league. Uh, Earl Lloyd, he was a basketball coach and player. He was the first African-American to play in the NBA, actually. Mm -hmm. So Cassius Clay, also known as Muhammad Ali, was a professional boxer, activist, entertainer, and philanthropist. And lastly, Ernie Davis was a football player who attended Syracuse University and won the Heisman Trophy as a halfback back in 1961. Boat Parade, Tom Brady threw the Lombardi Trophy over the Hillsborough uh, River in the picture shown below. Also yesterday in the MLB, outfielder Andrew Benintendi was traded to the Kansas City Royals and it was a three-team a three trade that involved the Royals, the Red Sox, and the Mets. And I'm Tanner with Sports. So with that, we hope you enjoyed that little uh, Black History Month trivia. Oh, actually, before we go, we got one more. What store was the Greenboro Four having a sit-in at? Was it A, Bennigan's, B, Waffle House, C, Denny's, or D, Woolworth's? I want to say it's either B or D. B or and, D? Yeah, Waffle House, Waffle or, House. or Woolworth's. I'm actually, yep, I was going to say 90% sure it's Woolworth's. Yeah. 
Uh, so with that, we hope you enjoyed this, this little Black History Month trivia. So from me, Bennett, and everyone here at The Morning Show, we hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday.